every person in this world deserves to live with dignity. Everyone should be given a chance to be a part of their world, to care for themselves as best as they are able. Yet worldwide there are millions of people who can't, and the simple reason is they lack mobility. They are too poor to seek even the simplest treatment or surgery. They have been put away, out of sight, in their homes and communities, because in many cultures they're considered a curse, an embarrassment. Imagine living your life in isolation, day after day in the same small room, never moving about in your front yard, never seeing your neighbors or the town that you live in, listening to the sounds of your world through your window, but never getting to be a part of it because you can't walk. Or imagine experiencing such difficulty moving from place to place that every errand is a monumental chore and people stare. To them, your means of mobility is an oddity. This is a fact of life for millions of people. For these people, the difference between isolation and freedom is in one basic tool, a wheelchair. A wheelchair that in these impoverished countries would take years of wages to purchase. In essence, an impossibility. Wheelchair Foundation is an instrumental force in making an impact on the plight of these forgotten people. Philanthropist Ken Baring was touched by these people in need during his many years of travel and founded Wheelchair Foundation. There's such a need in this world to help people that are not mobile and do not have money. Somebody has to do it, so I felt, why not me? This foundation is now reaching into the farthest corners of the world and changing the lives of those people who have been forgotten. A child who spent most of her days sitting in a box in her home. The only way she's ever been able to move was for her mother to carry her. But every day they had a box that they would put her in while her mother was trying to work in the house. God bless you that you gave us this wheelchair because now she won't be sitting in the box all day and she won't be bored. Now we can even take her places. <laughs> A man whose wife recently passed away. In addition, he is now enduring the physical and emotional stress of recovering from a stroke. She now I can move in my courtyard. I can smoke with my neighbors at the gate of my house. I can go and maybe buy some groceries. And I can see a little part of my small world. A young American man who spent three hours in and out of buses and subways on crutches each day to get to and from work. A wheelchair has given him mobility and much more. Oh, accessibility, motion. I can now go from step A to step B by myself. Hope, that's the word I would use. Hope, hope. This gives me hope. A six-year-old girl who had never known what it was like to move about on her own. All she could do was lay on the bed or lay in the corner I and mean, she couldn't walk at all. We finally got her in the wheelchair again. She was so scared to death because she didn't know what it was. After showing her how to move it, she finally moved it by herself. And when she moved it by herself, she had a grin from ear to ear. This is the first time. I think that she's ever been able to move herself. $150, such a small amount of money, buys one person a wheelchair, and hope replaces despair. Freedom replaces isolation. It is within our means to change a fellow human being's life forever. I feel that I'm indebted I, I build up a debt that I want to pay back to society and I think there's a lot of other people that I hope feel the same way that they've been so fortunate 
that they can give something back. And of all the ways that I've tried to give back, this is something that you see. I mean, each wheelchair that's given, you're helping not only the person, but the family. And it's something that's so basic. It gives me a better feeling than anything I've ever accomplished.